Oh, big stinky. You beautiful son of a gun, you. You know, this truck, in between washes, it just mostly sits out here. Really lightly tapping that, but dust just accumulates on this thing just sitting here. Like, this thing was polished, spit shine, clean, like clean as glass two days ago, and now it's like all dusty and crap just from sitting out here with all the wind and stuff. What is up, loud and proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. If you happen to notice some things in the shop here, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got some of it cleaned up here so it looks a little bit better. Still got a little ways to go, so I'm gonna try to knock out some more of that today. I mean, just think about how many more trucks we can put in here now. By the time I'm done cleaning up this whole side completely and I have everything organized along the back, we could seriously put four trucks in the shop versus last time, we could pull two in, but it was still a squeeze, you know what I'm saying? Because there was just so much clutter up through here. And then if you look here, the toolbox underneath does not have anything in it. It's just a toolbox off of my OG, white second gen and uh yeah and then i got the rear diff cover we got the fender we got to put back a nasty red with the clips to put it back on then if you go in here i've got everything organized in here second gen and first gen tail lights over here we've got some parts to you know like injector pullers and flow valves that are brand new um torque tools now that's maybe this is the injector puller got some genuine cummins parts factory governor spring kits you know and then some interior screws for the first gen because i don't know how many of you guys know but the back seat's actually taken out right now and taken apart, so these are the screws to put those back in there. And then of course we get the KDP here, some band clamps, because we always need those. Original delivery valves, pretty much everything, just everything, tail lights, air boxes, intercooler piping, like everything. New tensioner pulley, just some other stuff that I just wanted to organize and put in there. Just so I knew where it all was, it wasn't just scattered along the barn, it was all organized in one thing. Then of course we've got some factory parts here. What I'm gonna do is actually take Big Stinky, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way, of course. And then I'm gonna take Big Stinky, because it just sits out here and just collects dust. Take Big Stinky and park it right in here next to the first gen, just to get it parked back in the barn. And now that everything is clean, I mean guys, look at this. You can actually, I can just walk over here and touch my boot to the wall. And that might seem like, oh, who cares? Like, dude, there was stuff packed out to about here with parts. I mean, it, you guys remember what it looked like. It was just packed with toolboxes and the tires and rusty bumpers and my brother's big netted baseball kitchen thing. I mean, just, there's so much crap in there. So now we got all the parts, the exhaust stuff is all right there, exhaust stuff that we might be able to use pieces and parts off of as we go here and there. And then we've got some factory Nastrid parts, all that stuff, you guys get the idea. All this stuff is organized in the boxes. Anyways, I'm gonna move this stuff and then we're gonna get big stinky put in the barn. I mean, look, we have two full-size heavy-duty trucks parked side-by-side. Side. Not only are they parked side-by-side, side, but there's a plenty of room. I can walk up and down. If I want to, I can open up the door to where it rests on its first position. And I have plenty of room to get up in the truck. I gotta pull it out. And we've even got enough room back here, if I need to, grab parts out of the box and enough room for me to get back in here, grab stuff out if I have to. Plenty of room to walk down the side of the truck on this side as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited. I am excited to have the shop space back. And I know my dad is too. He came out and saw the barn. He's like, the barn is clean. You can actually see the ground in the barn. It feels good to have all the shop space back because now we could seriously put four trucks in here. No problem. Not a problem at all. We basically just had this space on this side as an aisle and all the other side was all piled with junk. This is a sharp looking truck. I guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am to see this truck move forward with the wheels and tires going on it soon enough. It's just gonna look sick. I've gotten so many people asking for the tires. When are you gonna get the tires? And you said the tires are on the way. The tires are on the way. I ordered them almost, when did I order those? I ordered those, it was April, but it was like the first couple days. So it's probably been 20 days since I ordered those tires. And it had said that they were gonna be there within two weeks, but it's been, you know, I think three weeks now. So I don't know, it's just, it's just, 
yeah, it's just not ideal, but there's nothing I can do about it. I even called them after about 12 days after they had been, I had ordered them. I was like, it says that they haven't even shipped yet. You know, like, is, have they really not shipped after having an order for more than 10, 10 business days? She's like, uh, yeah, it's not shipped for some reason. I don't know why. I think it might still have the original starter on it. I'm not for sure. But the starting cycle is so slow on this thing. It's like it's and then it starts up. But the starter runs really slow for some reason. Um, but today it fired off just like the first gen or the dually does. Obviously it makes a difference because it's, you know, 65 degrees out today and not, you know, below 40, which is most of the time we start it. And it just turns, turns over really slow. So I'm probably going to look into, if I can, a new starter for this thing just to get like a half crank starter on it. Because the starter in this thing just looks like it's all rusted up and... Just looks old, old, old. I don't know if that's it. The starter's just really old and wore down. Why it turns over so slow, but um, I personally would like to have that taken care of, so I might try to do that for whoever ends up winning the thing, if they select this truck and not the dually. I wish I had something else for you guys, but I honestly just, I just didn't. You know what I mean? It just was one of those days. I'm trying my best to keep in touch with companies so that we can try to move forward with the projects, but there's only so much that's in my hands and the other companies are doing you know all they can but there's more than just me that they're trying to take care of so you guys just also got to kind of keep in mind when you guys are like when are you going to start the build when are you going to start the build it's not just me and all what i want done there's a lot of other people that are involved and everything kind of has to align if that makes sense to where it can all get knocked out just kind of like nasty red it kind of took a while, but then once it happened, boom, Nasty Red was like built in a month. Like from the flatbed, the wheels and tires, the horsepower, like everything was done in a month, pretty much. It just kind of happens. And that's what's gonna happen for this truck and the dualies. We're just kind of, we're working out the fine details, trying to nail down exactly what we want done with the trucks, exactly what are the best parts, you know, this and that and the other. We're trying to line up what's gonna be best for each build so we can execute the mission, so to speak, and get everything sent in the first time, one and done. Nothing's missing, nothing's left out, and just get get it taken care of so we can get the builds moving. When we have the parts, there's not gonna be a bunch of delays. It's all in the work, so don't think like, oh, we're just wasting time, not trying to get it done. We are trying to get it done. It just takes time, and a lot of companies have to kind of work together on this, and I have to work with them, and so just kind of how it goes. If you were in my shoes, you were in my world, and what I have to do every single day in terms of for a living, you guys would understand what all goes into it. There's most of the stuff that I'm doing is not filming, okay? So a lot of the stuff is, mostly it's just behind the scenes stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing a clean shop just as much as I do. First gen grills posted up and the intercooled Dodge valve cover shields. Don't forget that we are doing the 12 valve giveaway. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, definitely stay tuned, go to my homepage and watch the video if you guys would like to see more information on that. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,